evening, ladies and gentlemen. We are here at the Morgan Stanley Building here in New York City with Women in Cinema. We are saluting women of excellence, the African American women in cinema. And I'm here with the lovely, distinguished guest, one of our Brooklyn's finest elected officials, Miss Lori Combo. Hi, Lori. I am so happy to be here. Thank you for interviewing me and giving me this opportunity to greet your audience. Thank you so much because you know this is the Boston Riddick Empowerment Show. Yes, it is. And we want to shout out to all the women out there. And I know, tell us what brought you out tonight, Lori. Well, as a Brooklynite and also chair of the Women's Issues Committee in the New York City Council, our voice certainly has to be represented tonight. And I'm really here because women telling and claiming their own stories from our own voice, from our own perspective, does not happen often enough. And when we look at television and media and how women are portrayed, um, it's important that we command and claim our own story and to tell it in a way that empowers us, that brings us together, and really counters so many of the negative images that we see in movies, in films, in magazines, in music videos. If we don't tell our stories, then globally, there will be a story, particularly of women of color, that is inaccurate, that is not true, um, and that it's not embody who we really are as women. And especially the African American woman, because things have been getting, to me, they seem like they're getting worse in terms of the way that we're treated. You know, but, um, there's such an issue going on in the country, but especially with African American women in law enforcement and, and stuff. So the voices need to go out to the world that there are positive women that have substantial bodies of work that are doing wonderful things, and that African American women are the backbone of this country. That's right. Said, I think the last election proved that women are the backbone of this country because when we unite and we come together and we push forward our agenda, our legislation, our policy initiatives, we win. And President Barack Obama is certainly an example of that. So, you know, we have living proof of what can happen when we conspire to make sure that the representatives that we want to have in place are certainly there. So, you know, I think we've all been very proud of the job that President Obama has done, along with our First Lady, Michelle Obama, and their relationship and, and their marriage has certainly raised the bar and really restored on the importance of family values and what we can do when we come together as a family, strong families create strong communities, which certainly make a stronger community um, in the entire United States. Right. And before we leave, I just want to say, uh, talk to you about the importance of family being together on Sunday evening. Okay, because I think when when, people, when the stores started opening and people started shopping on Sundays, that's what broke the families up. That's right. And we know that African American economically, we're spending in New York City more than nine states in the United States. That's right. That is very relevant. We are spending more money, especially African American women and our families. So tonight, I don't want to go off of the, mm -hmm. the idea of women in cinema, but I must say that because you're an elected official and you have the power of the legislative body, that we want to encourage women to stay home with your children on Sunday. Mm -hmm. Sit down, eat dinner, watch a little television, selective television. That's when you say, Lori, selective, Certainly. watch what they're doing on their internet, on their computers, because it's so important. So here, we're women empowering each other, and I, we inspire, we, listen, when I know you're there and you're on the job, and you bet Clark is there, That's and, right. and a host of other women right. that are elected, um, Latrice Walker, That's right. I follow you ladies. Oh, you are all oh yeah, I follow you ladies, because I know you're doing the, the work, That's right. you know what I mean? And I want to be there to support and be able to get the voice out with our media. Everybody has a job in this, no one person does it. So we want to thank you though for the thank work that you. you do, because you are definitely a woman of excellence. Let's go in and honor the other women that are here. I'm so excited yeah, to recognize yeah. these dynamic women yeah. who, who saw it not robbery to come out Absolutely. and to share their story, to share their experiences, and to trailblaze the path for the next generation of filmmakers who will be empowered by the stories that they'll hear tonight. Absolutely. And we thank the, the founder, the CEO of this whole event. Uh, we had her on the red carpet earlier and all the sponsors that participated. So thank you again thank you. for being with me, Bosch for the Compound Show. Stay right there, get a bite, and come on back, okay? We'll be right here at the Morgan Stanley Building, right here in New York City. Thank you so much. Thank you.